Hi, I'm Kelly from Kelly Jones Jewelry. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this pendant. You can really use any shape stone you like with this one, with a little bit of adapting. I've put a list in the description below of everything you'll need, including links to my Etsy shop, which is www.kellyjonesjewelry.com. It's where I sell my, um, my written tutorials as downloadable PDFs and uh, finished jewellery. Also, there's links to my Etsy and Facebook. So if you're on there, please let me see all your finished stuff. Tag me. Let me see what you've made. I absolutely love seeing all your work made from my tutorials. And please mention me when you do share your things. It's uh, Kelly Jones Design. To make this pendant you'll need 0.8mm wire, that's 20 gauge and I've cut three lengths at 12 inches, that's 30.5 centimetres You'll need 0.3mm weaving wire which is 28 gauge You'll need about 2 to 300 centimetres um, A teardrop cabochon, you can also use an oval one if you want to Mine is 25 by 18 if yours is a bit bigger or a bit smaller, adjust your wire lengths according. I've got two little beads, mine are three millimetres. Tools, I've got pliers, round nose pliers, wire cutters, nylon pliers. If you don't have nylon pliers, don't worry, I just like to have these to hand for straightening wires, flattening weaves. Today I'm going to be using bow pliers. If you don't have bow pliers, then you just need something that kind of size, like a thin pencil or a uh, crochet hook or a knitting needle or something like that. So if you find the centre point of your wires and hold this, put your thumb right in the centre of the wires, we're going to work just to the left. We're going to start just to the left of your thumb. So take your weaving wire. Just separating the wires a bit. We're going to start with three wraps around that bottom wire. So we'll go around the bottom two wires twice. between those two wires and we'll go around the top two wires twice and you need to do that three times twice around the bottom two wires up between twice around the top two wires And then we'll go once again around the bottom two. Finish with three wraps around that bottom wire. Cut the wire from the beginning and the end. You need to cut off any short bits, flatten down any sharper bits. So then take your pliers and we're going to grip that weave right in the middle. a bend in it and that bend needs to be the same angle as the point on your stone 
if you're using an oval stone or if you want to set your stone in the other way then you'll need to scoop this to match this the shape of your stone so now I'm going to weave on the side here if you look at that weave we've just done where you've got the three wraps that's going to be your back wire so we need to keep that at the back at all times so now I'm going to do another weave here and I need to make sure that my three wraps are on the same wire I'm going to do the same weave that we just did so we start with three wraps around the bottom wire Twice around the bottom two, up between those two, twice around the top two, three times, and then two wraps around the bottom two, finish with three wraps around the bottom wire. So I've done the same weave as we did just at the beginning. Same again, cut it both ends, flatten down any sharp bits. I'm going to do the same again on the other side. Slide that down a bit. I'm going to do the same on this side. I'm going to have to work it upside down. So you need to remember to keep the three wraps on the back wire, which is now the top wire. So we've got to start now with, I'm going to get to my weaving wire. We're going to start with three wraps around the top wire. between the bottom two. So we go two wraps around the top wire, two wraps around the bottom two wires, and then come back up between the bottom two. So we're going to repeat that three times, finish with two wraps around the top two, and then three wraps around that top wire. So we've got the same weave. So we've got the two weaves on the side and the one at the bottom and this is what I mean by the back wire, the three wraps are all on the same wire. And you can slide these weaves along a little bit and then you get them to be on the sides, roughly in the same place. And then we're going to bend the wires carefully around the stone, holding it all down in place. Trying to get it as even as you can. Try not to let the wires cross over each other, side wires cross over each other. And then we Happy with the shape, we're going to bend the top wires up straight like that. So I've just realised, I forgot to mention my stone is quite thin there. If you've got a thicker stone, then you'll need to use more wires. I'm using three because my stone is quite thin. If you've got a thicker stone, you've got thicker sides, you'll need more wires. And then at the end, you just need to play around with the extra wires to what you want with them, really. So now I'm going to attach them all together at the top. So wrap three times around the back wire. Okay. 
slide it down to sit just below where the wires are going to join. And then we're going to go around the whole thing. About five or six times. And then we'll go around a back wire to secure that weave, that wrap. Cut that tail end from the beginning. Flatten down any sharp bits. So now we need to secure the stone. Just put your stone back in to make sure it still fits. I'm going to start at the back. So I'm just making a gap. I'm just pulling the wire over a little bit, just making a gap. Just so I can grab that with my pliers. Just need to be able to get in there. And then grab it at the bottom. And bend that in. I'm going to do that on the other side too. Bend that in. Just pushing the wires against the stone a bit. I'm going to do it at the top as well. So grab that wire there, the top of that weave, bend that in, and the other one, the other side. And then turn it over. We're going to do the same with the front. Grab that wire, bend it up, in, up, or in, whichever way you're looking at it. And on this side, and on the top here. On the other side. A nice bit of colour on this stone today. That's what we've got so far. So now we're going to work on the top. We just give your stone just a little squeeze so all the wires are all nice and tight around there. Right, so looking at these wires at the top. The back wires have gone out. And the front wires are in the middle. The front two wires, I want those over to the left and out the way. So we'll deal with those later. And the other four are going to be our bale. So get them nice and even. You want a nice big V gap in the middle. So just working on these two wires, working on these two bottom wires, I'm going to go three times around the two wires, come up between, and we're just going to wrap twice around that top wire. Well, I suppose I've gone three times, I've not really. 
and then this wire comes straight over we're now working on the top two so this bottom wire of the top two is what we're aiming to wrap around so i've gone in between the two push it right the way down to the bottom and we're going to wrap another twice around that wire and then we're going to go twice around the two wires no sorry three times around the two wires and then we're just going to wrap around that single wire again So we'll go three wraps, we'll go three wraps around a single, three wraps around both, and three wraps around the single wire. And then this wire comes back over the other side. So we're repeating that weave over to the opposite side in between the wires. Three wraps around the inner wire, three wraps around both wires, three wraps around that inner wire. And then straight over to the other side. And as you're weaving, try not to let your wires come together. You want to have this nice open weave in the middle. If your wires do come together, you're going to crumple all this lovely weave. So try not to let your wires come together as you're working. And keep pushing them down and compressing them as you go. So when your bale reaches about this size, so you can see my repeats there. So I've got two, three, four, five, six on the one side and five on the other. And you get about that size. Being careful not to bring the wires together in the middle. I'm going to bend the outers in. So you've got a nice diamond shape on the top and that'll be our bail. When you're happy with the shape, my diamond is about the size of my stone as well quite a big one so when you're happy with the shape hold the wires at the top and bend the wires back out like that I'm just going to hold them there and bend the outer wires out so I can still weave on them so now we need to carry on weaving as we were before only now that weave is going to continue to keep trying to slide up the bale as we're working so you have to keep holding everything down now and it's going to really try and keep sliding up there to keep it tidy you just got to keep sliding it back down so i've done my three wraps then i do three around the both wires then i do the three wraps and keep pushing it down And when you've got your repeat, you go over to the other side. So now I'm holding this side down and I'm weaving over this side. So you've got to push your wire down. You don't want to pull your wires together. You've got to keep them the same distance apart. So now you've got to just try and hold everything. I'm holding this side, but with this hand I have to keep sliding this back down because it's going to keep trying to creep up there. So when you've got your three wraps, keep pushing it down. Then I have three around the two wires. And then I have three around the single wire. Keep pushing it down. And keep it tidy. And go back over the other side. So you need to persist with it and just keep pulling those wires back down together. If you get little gaps on the way up here, it doesn't really matter because this is going to be the back. This is going to bend over and be the back. So if this bit's tidy, you've won. And if you do get some small gaps up here, then you're more right. So I've repeated that weave all the way up to the top. It's never as tidy on the way up. You know, on this top piece, you'll never get it as tidy as the bottom. Otherwise, get these little gaps. It's not nothing to worry about. So when you get to the top, 
I'm going to cut the weaving wire leaving a little bit still attached. So now take your bail pliers and where the corners of that diamond shape are, that's where we're going to bend it. That's got to be the top. I'm going to bend it straight over. So you've got that, that's my bail. That's where your cord or your chain will go through. So I'm going to pull it together now. I'm going to push all the wires together. And these two outer wires I'm pulling out because I'm leaving those out of the way for now and I'm going to take this weaving wire and I'm going to go around show you from the back where's my wire so my wires on this side I'm going to go around the whole thing and then just capture those two wires at the back. So we need to level it up. So I'm going around everything except for those two outer wires. I've left those out the way. I'm going to go around is that about four or five times and then I'll wrap around single wire just to finish it off. to hold it all in place so then I cut that wire flatten off any sharp bits so now we're going to work on these two outer wires at the back so I'm pulling it forward to start with. I'll start with this wire from the back, pull it directly forward. Then I'm going to take this wire up and I'm going to go around into a small loop. Like that. And I'm going to go to the back. And then this back wire bring in to the front so it's come underneath that one and I'm gonna go round the loop so pick it nice and slowly so you can see the loop taking shape put more control over the shape of it then like that and then when you're happy with the shape, hold the front and take that wire around to the back. So when you're happy with that, hold it in place. We're going to take both those wires around back of the bale and back to the front again so it secured it I'm just pulling that forward a little bit where the wires come to the front we're just going to cut them off and flatten them down So they're out the way. I'll do that with the other side too. So we've got that. We did look at the loops at the front. It's wrapped around and secured the back. I'm just going to get rid of these back wires. What I'm going to do with these, I'm just going to cut them off into short 
tails. If you want to do something else with these wires, then you can. I need to get them both the same size, really. And then I'm going to take the round nose pliers and just curl them off to finish them off. Like that. It kind of holds everything in place, finishes off the wires. You must remember to close your curls so they don't snag on anything. Try and match them up with each other best you can. Sounds like someone's having a party. I'm going to work on these two side wires and I'm going to take this top wire and I'm going to add coils to it so I'm turning it upside down. I'm going to take the weaving wire and I'm just going to add coils to that wire. Coils, I'll just wrap it around and around. And then when you've done a bit, push it together. I'm going to keep doing that. Keep adding coils. to that wire and we're going to have to keep adding more and more so add some and then we can add more in a bit cut the tail end off from the beginning can slide it down into place and it's a bit tricky to cut off once it's there so really slide that down so it's where you want it it's probably best if we shape the bottom wire first so take your bottom wire and we're going to scoop it around. Now this shaping of these two wires, this is the majority of the design now. So you want to take your time and get the shaping exactly how you want it. So I've got this wire coming around nicely like that. And when it gets to here, I'm going to hold it and I'm going to put a loop in the wire so I'm going to go around and I want to put a bead on it too so I found where I've put my beads so go and find your bead pop it on that wire hopefully there we go so scooping that wire around into a loop like that. So then when you're happy with this little loop here, we're going to follow with the coiled wire. So I'm going to bring it around and then I'm going to take it underneath the bare wire. So we've got a nice shape in here and then here we want it to follow the loop. So I'm trying to hold it so I don't misshape the first part of it and then go around and follow that loop. Like that. And then we're going to add more coils, add more coils to this, uh, this wire on the bottom here. So I've added coils to this wire, then this wire is going to go up, it's going to go over and this bottom wire now comes down. So this wire comes down and around and we're going to put another loop there. So we need to find that other bead, your other 3mm bead, 
pop that on. And then continue to take that wire around. This time the coiled wire it's just going to follow like that. We're not going to start wrapping around. We're just going to put it there like that. So I just need to add a few more coils to that wire. So when you've cleared the loop with your coils, I'm going to wrap around the two wires together to hold them together. And then come up between those two wires. And I'm going to cut the weaving wire, leaving a little bit still on there, a little length still attached. And I'm going to attach this weave now, these wraps, to this back wire here. I'm just going to make a little gap there. And then I'm going to post the wire down around that. So I've gone under that front wire there. Pull that nice and tightly so the weave, the wires sit right up against that wire. And then come over the wire, but under the wire that you're wrapping around. And then I'll come up between so I can add a few more wraps there. Just the two. And then I'll go around it again so it's really secure. So I'll do that again, I'll go around that front wire, as I just did. So I've got two places where I've attached it there, where I've gone around that front wire. That's what we have so far. It's lovely curly swirlies. So now I'm going to bend this wire around to make a little curl at the front. And this one is going to go down. So I've got one curl going one way. And one go in the other. I'm going to cut that weaving wire nice and close if I can, and then I'm going to cut those wires enough so I can do some decent size curls on there. So that's what I've got so far. Around those pliers, I'm going to curl this one this way and this one this way. So you just want to grab the tip. I like to just squish the tip a little bit first. And then take the tip around. If you do it slowly, you can see the shape so you can get the shape that you want. And this one is the other way. I'll try and squash the end a little bit first. And then bend that one around that way. I saw then I'd got a little sharp bit there. That's got it. So there we have it. Finished. I'm just going to go and oxidise this now. I'll show you the oxidised piece and I'll put a link in the description below if you want to oxidise yours, how to do it. So there we have it. Finished. I hope you find this easy, easy to follow and I haven't confused you too much. I have put a link in the description below of how I oxidise my pieces. I did a video a while ago. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And um, please mention me, a Kelly Jones Design, when sharing your work online, please. Thanks to everybody. See you in the next one.